A close-knit group in Luzerne County is honoring and remembering a friend tonight as they celebrate Bob Matthews, the former rescue chief for Avoca Hose Company 1. Matthews died in hospice earlier this week after serving the department for 70 years. Fox 56's Sam Durante joins us live tonight with more. Sam. Yes, and those who worked with Matthews said he was a crucial part to the Avoca Fire Department. That he's a great guy, you know, great guy, and everybody looked up to him and that, you know, and uh, we're going to miss him. We're going to miss him. Bob Matthews was the kind of person that could light up a room. Typical firehouse atmosphere, having a coffee, and Bob would come in, and he'd put a smile on your face. Loved ones say Matthews was a friend to all and viewed the fire department as a second family. He was a family man. He adored his family, his grandchildren, and then his second family here was the firehouse. Um, Bob was a founding father of the rescue company here. He was also a founding father of uh, the Voca Ambulance Association. And he was the only person to serve a Voca as rescue chief. And when he made the decision not to run for re-election, the position was retired in his honor. On the side of the rescue truck, we have it, his uh, name and on the windows in there. And, and uh, he'll never be forgotten. You know, he's one of those kind of people that you just don't forget. Always willing to lend a hand, Matthews served the fire department for as long as he was able. Bobby was up here at meetings of probably two months ago, coming to meetings at that, that, and probably about a year ago he stopped driving. Those at the department say his memory will live on in everything they do. You can see it in the way the members approach the job and the service to the community. A lot of that was born from the example that Bob and Chris and others provided for us. Luzerne County Communications to all emergency service personnel. This is the last call for Rescue Chief Robert Matthews. May he rest in eternal peace and remain in the hearts of all emergency personnel and family members. The fire department is honoring and memorializing Matthews by having a memorial placed right outside of the station. Additionally, for their 9-11 memorial service next week, they'll mention his name. Reporting live in Luzerne County, I'm Sam Durante with Fox 56 News, first at 10. Sam.